there is another way of calculating induced EMF when you have a conducting loop that has a movable part. So imagine we have a magnetic field that points into the page like what is shown through these vectors. We have this C-shaped conductor. It is stationary. On top of this C-shaped conductor is another conductor. This one. It's actually a simple rod. And this rod is movable and has a length L. The rod and the C-shaped conductor actually touch each other. So effectively, they form a closed conducting loop. Suppose I move this rod to the right with a velocity v. Since it is submerged in a magnetic field, right-hand rule number 1 dictates that the mobile charges in the rod will move upward. If you need a refresher course on the right-hand rule, please watch my lecture. The link is in the description box below. So obviously, this loop experiences a change in magnetic flux. Hence, the closed loop will have an induced EMF during this change of magnetic flux. To derive the expression for the induced EMF, let's focus on one mobile charge in this rod. For example, let's look at this one mobile charge. When the rod moves with velocity v, the charge experiences a magnetic force due to the magnetic field. So from our previous lecture, this magnetic force experienced by this charge, let's put Q, is equal to Qv cross B or cross the magnetic field. Recall this vector identity that if you have a constant multiplied to vector A and it is crossed with B, this is also equal to the constant C multiplied to the cross product of A and B. Essentially, I can take this Q out of the cross product. Now going back to the figure, this is the charge we are observing and once it moves a distance dl, for example from this point to this point, let's just name that displacement as dl. So if this charge moves a distance dl, then the work done in moving this charge is f dotted to dl. I can calculate the dot product of this expression with dl to get an expression for energy or the work done on the charge. Again, this work here is equivalent to the electric potential energy needed to transfer the charge from one point in space to another. So I could write this as the infinitesimal change in potential energy. Now, recall the definition of electric potential. Electric potential is equal to electric potential energy divided by Q. And we can rewrite this as U equals VQ. And if you have an infinitesimal amount of electric potential energy, then this is also equal to an infinitesimal amount of potential times the charge. So I'm going to plug this here. So this cancels out. Since this potential represents the induced EMF, I'll just replace this with this symbol. So for a closed conducting loop, the motional EMF is the integral of V cross B dotted to DL. This works for closed conducting loop of any shape. In our example, since this is the only thing that is movable, the velocity for this part is non-zero and only this length contributes to this integral. So these parts are stationary, so basically it will yield a velocity of zero. So when we calculate the contribution of each integration path, this path is the only one that will be non-zero for the induced EMF. To demonstrate how to calculate motional EMF, let's consider this problem. This problem is from OpenStax University Physics Volume 2, Chapter 13, Electromagnetic Induction. 
problem 45. The rod shown below moves to the right on essentially zero resistance rails at a speed of V equals 3 meters per second. If the magnetic field is equal to 0 0.5 Tesla everywhere in the region, what is the current through the 5 ohm resistor? Does the current circulate clockwise or counterclockwise? So to find the current through this resistor, we must find the induced EMF. And then we use Ohm's law. to calculate for the current. So again, this rod is moving with a velocity V to the right. The effective length that contributes to the induced EMF is this length because this is the only parts of the rod that touches the zero resistance rails. And R here, based on the given, is equal to 5.0 ohms. So again, we need to calculate for the induced EMF to calculate the current through R. So writing down our working equation for the emotional EMF. So based on the figure, the velocity and the magnetic field vectors are perpendicular to each other. So essentially, I can convert this into its magnitude. So E equals integral of VB sine theta. And I emphasized a while ago that they are perpendicular to each other. So essentially, this is sine 90 degrees. And notice that the dot product of V and B is, is along the length of the rod, which is the direction of DL. So essentially, this is also times DL cosine 0 because the cross product of velocity and magnetic field is parallel with the direction of our integration path, which is DL. In the problem, the magnitude of velocity and the magnitude of magnetic field vectors are constant, so I can put this outside the integral sign. And notice that if we trace this integration path, this is the only path that has a non-zero velocity and the rest are stationary. So essentially, they, they will yield a zero result for the integration. So I'll just focus on this integration path, which is from 0 to L. So I'll end up with VB L evaluated from 0 to L, and I'll end up with VB L. And plugging in the values, I have 3 meters per second times 0 0.75 Tesla times a length of, I forgot to write the given, L is equal to 4 centimeters. So calculating for induced EMF, it is equal to 0 0.09 volts. And using Ohm's law, current is equal to zero point zero eighteen ampere. Now the next question is, does the current circulate clockwise or counterclockwise? So based on the figure, if I focus on one single charge on the rod, for example this charge, Q, since Q is moving with velocity V, then using the right hand rule number 1, V cross B, it moves this way. So if the positive charges are being pushed this way, and essentially it will flow through these resistanceless rails, if we trace this path, it actually moves clockwise. So the answer here is clockwise. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.